Hello, everybody, and welcome to day two of the Genomic Medicine 13 meeting. Um, we uh, had a really productive day one, uh, a lot of uh, input uh, and interactivity despite the virtual format. So we're hoping that that will uh, continue today. Uh, let me just provide a little bit of uh, orientation for how day two will work. Uh, we will have two sessions that are going to be um, very similar to the um, sessions that we had on day one uh, with different uh, areas of content focus. Uh, we're then gonna be taking um, a longer break, approximately one hour uh, towards the end of the day today. That will allow um, uh, my uh, co-chair, uh, Ken Wiley, and myself to uh, synthesize our takeaways from day two and um, merge them with uh, some work that we've already put in for takeaways for day one. And then we'll reconvene the meeting um, uh, for uh, an open discussion where we'll walk through the takeaways to make sure that we captured uh, the information accurately um, and also to make sure that we did not miss anything uh, that was uh, important. Uh, this uh, session is going to be um, uh, really critical for uh, our next steps, which will be to um, create a meeting summary, but also to develop a publication uh, that will let a wider audience know uh, what we uh, have um, been trying to accomplish. And of course, the uh, major takeaway will be um, for this meeting to inform uh, work within the uh, NHGRI uh, about uh, developing uh, a, a research strategy, research portfolio around uh, uh, clinical informatics and genomics. And so this will uh, hopefully uh, result in the next um, uh, few months uh, in uh, some information from NHGRI about how uh, we're gonna move this forward. So with that as the prelude, first of all, I want to um, uh, begin by thanking all of the presenters yesterday for being very attentive to time limits. Uh, we hope that that will uh, continue today. We want to thank all the co-moderators for the excellent job that um, you've been doing in terms of moderating uh, the discussions after the uh, presentations. Um, a reminder that you can contribute uh, uh, questions uh, either through the question and answer box uh, through the chat function or uh, verbally uh, by letting um, the co-moderators know that you have something to, uh, to contribute. All of those will be captured. A reminder that we are recording the session, so all of this will be um, recorded and will be ultimately available on the Genomic Medicine um, meeting uh, site where all of the uh, prior meetings um, um, reside. Uh, as uh, durable um, materials. Um, uh, these are happening long enough now that uh, uh, some of us who have been involved from the first meeting are beginning to recognize uh, uh, changes uh, in appearance uh, over the course of the, uh, the years that have taken place. And unfortunately, it's not an, a Dorian Gray experience uh, for most of us. So. Uh, in any case, uh, let's uh, go ahead and um, launch into session four, uh, defining a research agenda that addresses the process for developing genomic-based clinical informatics resources. Uh, this uh, session will be uh, co-moderated by Dr. Aaron uh, Krauge, uh, who is the Director of Medical Bioinformatics at Namor's DuPont Hospital for Children and is also the director of uh, management of the Delaware um, A-Cell, which is the Accelerating Clinical and Translational uh, Research uh, for, the, um, uh, for Delaware. Um, Dr. Krauge has a, a broad research portfolio with the goal of implementing a learning healthcare system to enhance precision medicine. Our second co-moderator for this session is Dr. Dan Roden. Um, Dan is a member of the Genomic Medicine Working Group, has been from the inception of this group. Uh, he has a, uh, a very uh, long history of uh, um, research uh, in genomics and uh, uh, personalized and precision medicine, 
and has led programs uh, such as the Vanderbilt BioView program, the PREDICT pharmacogenetics program, and has been PI on projects through the Pharmacogenomics Research Network, the Electronic Medical Records and Genomics um, uh, from phase one through phase four, and has uh, co-PI of the All of Us uh, Data and Research Center that's housed at uh, Vanderbilt. So with that, I will um, uh, turn it over to Drs. Krauge and Roden. 